Uh, hello, I wanted to tell you today about our heated fermenter. Um, we would uh, use this in applications such as fermenting kombucha baby, um, or rum production, or even liquefying uh, maybe a, a solid fat that isn't uh, liquid at room temperature. Uh, so this differs from our usual beer fermenter in that with a beer ferment, the yeast is able to uh, produce its own heat and uh, excessive heat in fact, such that we uh, need a fermenter to cool it down. Uh, so this is the, the identical same fermenter, but with the addition of a gentle heat. Now, when I say gentle, I mean it's not in the form of a direct heat like an immersion element might be, uh, because the, the surface area would uh, and possibly uh, eradicate your, your yeast. Uh, so we designed this system to have a, a gentle heat and that is achieved with a uh, regular uh, immersion plate. So that uh, lives inside the fermenter. This is the 400 litre version, so it's just got the, the one metre plate. Uh, and as I said, in the beer fermenter, we would pass cold fruit water through that in order to stop the temperature gaining in too much ground. So uh, we've devised a system whereby we can uh, add hot water to the plate in order to warm the contents of the tank. So the extra component is the hot water cylinder. So I've, had, I've got this turned on already. This one is currently set at 30 degrees. So the, the internal temperature in there and it's well insulated is sat at 30, ready for use. Uh, it's also connected through its own pipe work to one of our dedicated transfer pumps and that goes to the, the cooling plate, the immersion plate, and then back to the heater. So it's a closed loop system, no need for additional water to be added. Uh, in common with our beer fermenter, we uh, also uh, uh, add the uh, wall box controller, and into that the pump is then plugged. So the uh, wall controller allows you to select your target temperature. Now it's quite chilly today, it's only about 10 degrees. So the, uh, the, the beer fermenter is set to 30 degrees, which is gonna be the target for things like kombucha, for instance, that's the optimum sort of temperature. So if I turn the control panel on, it will show the current temperature. And I don't know if you could hear that, but the pump uh, jumps into life straight away. So it's only at 11 degrees. Now there's no liquid in the tank, it's just empty for today's demo. But in usual circumstance, what the process that follows now is because the, the contents of the hot water cylinder is 30 degrees and the, and the, the current internal temperature in the fermenter is below the target of 30 degrees, the pump is active and it's pushing the hot water through the plate and uh, you can feel the warmth in the, in the plate. So over the period of the next few uh, minutes or hours even, the temperature inside the fermenter will, will start to increase until it gets up to, to 30 degrees, at which point the control panel will switch the pump off and no further action will be needed in the fermenter. So the, the hot water cylinder is a quite a low consumption unit anyway, and that will just sit there. And so the, the advantage really is that you can control in an upwards direction the temperature in your fermenter without using the aggressive heat source that uh, uh, immersion element would be in uh, things like hot liquor tanks. Uh, so that describes the, the system very well. Any questions please get in touch. Thank you.